Hi and welcome to my uh, flying review of the Goblin 570. Um, been a while, um, basically I just want to make sure I get plenty of flights on it and uh, find any little foil bubbles and uh, anything that sticks out that uh, needs attention. But I'll be honest, uh, it's been faultless. You know, I've, I've flown it and I've flown it hard and I've had others fly it hard and it's just, uh, just taken everything that we've given it. Um, as you can see, I kitted this out with a Scorpion HK4025 motor, uh, Futaba brushless servos, SAB black line blades, and a Spartan Vortex. Um, to be honest, that's probably pretty much what the standard of kit that most people would put in it, so nothing above and beyond really what people would do. Um, yeah, it's... A fantastic little bit of kit. I mean, you, you've probably already seen my written review of it. Um, this is me flying now, by the way. Um, yeah, it went together easily. There's a couple of little problems in the build, but to be honest, nothing. I, I've seen a lot worse in other kits. Um, impressions from flying it's very, very light in the air. Uh, I'd like to say it was stable, but it's more on the agile side of stable than, than stable, if, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it was so agile, so quick. And you can probably see here, just, I'm, I'm not doing anything major because my skills are they're not really that good, to be honest. But you can see there, it's so easy to fly, so nice. I mean, the white and the black scheme as well, you'd think it would be a bit rubbish to look to see in the sky, but no, nope, it's actually really visible, really stands out, it's like a nice contrast against the blue, even against um, greying skies, right there, against that cloud, it, it's not too bad to see at all, you've got plenty of visibility, and no, oh, I'm quite impressed by it actually, um, I definitely recommend it to other people. I really can't. The only thing that lets it down really, um, I've probably got 70, 80 flights on it now. Um, the canopy's starting to crack a little bit where it goes around the bottom mounts. Um, I think that's just because of the way you have to put the canopy on the goblin. Um, what else was it? There's been a little bit of slop going in the tail, but that'll skim out. That's nothing major. But the biggest gripe is battery life. Um, because of the size of the heli, you're actually restricted by the size of batteries that will go in the actual heli. Um, I'm running 3,300s on this now. And even with my fairly sedate flying, I'm only getting 4 minutes, 4 minutes 15, something like that. Um, when one of the more hardcore pilots at the club gets hold of it, we're down to about 3.5 minutes, something like that. That's... That's probably the only gripe that I've got with the heli that I want more flight time, but it's just such an absolute hoot to fly. It really is. If you're looking for a 550 size heli, the 570 Goblin is probably one of the best buys that you can, you can have on it. So yeah, time for me to hand over the reins to uh, one of our test jockeys, uh, Tom Owen. Um, you might have heard of him in the show the other day, um, I give him big props just because his quality was fine, so I'll uh, shut up now and let you watch Tom give it death. I did ask Tom if he'd do his own uh, voiceover, but he says he's shy or something. He uh, doesn't come across like that to me. But anyway, this is what Tom says. Thanks, Kev, for asking me to do a flight review of the Goblin 570 today. What a crazy heli. I didn't really know what to expect after the last 550 heli that I'd flown. It wasn't my tidiest flying by any means, as I've had a couple of months off helis and my collective management was a little bit off. But now I've flown this little beast. I've got the bug for it again, big time. Anyway, 
I took the Goblin off and the first thing I noticed was how stable it was on the Vortex system. I'd only used Vortex once before but that was on its original firmware and it was on a 700 Nitro. At that time I still preferred the V-Bar but having said that it's not really fair of me to compare the two as I haven't had a chance to try the Vortex on one of my 700 electrics yet. The tail was a little bit quick for me to start off with but once we dialed it down it was really good, it held really well. The 570 seems to be a really good all-rounder. It's stable enough for beginners, yet agile enough for the most demanding of pilots. For its size, it really is a great heli. It definitely flies bigger than it is. I've been flying nothing but 700 size helicopters since I started in New Year, and it didn't really feel like a 550 at all, which is really impressive. It's an absolute powerhouse of a heli with absolute bags of power, and if I was in the market for a 550 size heli, I would put in this very high on my list. Maybe when my heli flying has improved a little bit more over, over and above my fixed wing flying I can get a chance to have another go and add further comment. But for now I'm glad to have flown it. What a great little heli. So there you go guys, that's Tom's words. Said by me, but it's Tom, Tom's own words and uh, as you can see he really does enjoy this heli. And uh, yeah, fantastic bit of kit. Highly recommend it to anyone.